Hey, my name is Boton Bater Benchik from Hungary. I live the life fully. I'm a backpacker. So guys, here I am again. Yesterday I met my Hungarian friend Laszlo and we are gonna play some basketball because he was also a basketball player in Hungary. good things in this gym I play paid only one euro for one hour rent out the whole area for play basketball and they have shower I can wash my clothes as well as you see and get some warm shower Hey guys, this is 7th of uh, March, today I didn't have any power to swim to the land, so I was staying in the boat all day. I'm preparing the, the dinner now, listening the Odyssea from Homeros. That's gonna be a pasta, and this is Homeros. The food is ready. I'm from Hungary, near the Austrian border, called Sopron. It's a lovely town, and this is my street. Bator in Hungary means brave, completely. I was always like a, a crazy kid, so my father and mother would always freak out like I was just climbing to the biggest tree and uh, I always wanted to do something else than others. Like we have a huge house as you see. I grew up with my great grandpa, grandma and uh, my grandfather, my grandmother. So three generation was there when I was born. My great grandpa had a farm in another part of Hungary. In that time, the communism take everything from, from people. So they took the, the house and the land. My father got back after the system changed. That was a nice place to, to grow up, close to the nature. But we did hiking a lot with my family. So it was really good to, to be in the nature and I love to stay in the forest. Hey guys. It's today, it's 8th of March and I'm on second day on the boat without touching the land. And outside, 30 knots, wind, it's gonna be like this whole night and tomorrow afternoon. The storm. Hey guys, it's a new day. Yesterday I met two Hungarian surfers who live here, Bori and Zhuzi. I have to swim to the land now with the surf, with my backpack, and we're gonna have fun!
lovely. And I'm going to swim every night then in this water. Today morning when I left my boat I was in hurry so I forgot to bring my shirt and my coat with me and tonight we're going to have a dinner with my Hungarian friends and Estella Episode 2, me and Yuri. <laughs> yeah. The best person in the world, bravo Vato. <laughs> world need a person like you. Stilanda. Stilanda! Hi guys, good morning. What a lovely day. The wind just stopped, it's just slightly move a little bit. Dance all of Fulchos Woo! I know I decide to pull up my sail again and heading south but the wind is almost nothing so and the sun is going down so i s decide to stay in lobos maybe this night and anchor and tomorrow follow my journey sun is setting <laughs> let me show you guys my breakfast what i used to eat when i'm on the boat this is gofio, what is um, kind of like corn. So I just put it inside the water, but it's already boiled. I'm making porridge now. And this is like highly have a protein inside, a lot of vitamins. A, D, C, B, B, B. And now I add some uh, salt and some cereals. What is always good, a lot of fiber and a lot of, uh, yeah. You see, I don't eat a small portion because I don't know when I'm gonna eat next, so. In the morning, after my exercises, I'm gonna put a banana inside as well, because today I have three bananas. So, one is gonna be inside the porridge. Let's keep boiling, five minutes. So, blum blum porridge. Let's put some peanut butter inside. From Norway, Kalamalt. So lovely. I love cinnamon. Cinnamon is in. Next time, a little chocolate, because I like sweet. It's mandarin. It's gonna be nice with the food. And honey, what I love. Boom, food is ready. Let's go enjoy the sun, enjoy the mantras of this beautiful day. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. Life is good, especially today. Without engine, I don't even touch it. Okay, guys, so the wind is not so big, but it's a lovely day. So, this side I will do a bit snorkeling. I saw a ray under, so I want to see some animals. There's uh, plenty of sharks around. Woo! If, if I'm ended up somewhere where I've never been before, that's also a cool feeling. You can discover, you can go around with your boat and, and you have your home. You live on the boat, you, you have your own home and, and they can make it cozy. Let me show you my boat! So this is the front cabin where I used to sleep. Here I have a toilet. What is really good? First aid for some cream. I have my longboard here. Underneath there is some storage, a lot of sailing stuff. Here is uh, my gas. So this is the saloon, I have the kitchen on the right side. This is the electricity, I have a big battery here, another battery here, and another here. And I have 
a lot of food just here. There is also a lot of things here. And this is uh, some fishing equipment, some diving equipment, some shampoo, some, you know, some basic shit. The electric box, boom! Looks like a mess. I don't like open this. And this is a old lamp, but it looks very cool. I have a lot of books here. So I have this adventures books. Thor Heyerdahl, you know, it's from Norway. This Hungarian guy, Aaron, sailed around the world on a six meters boat. Bhagavad Gita for the spiritual. I have DVDs because I have a television here. Underneath the cockpit, I have the autopilot, a suitcase for the tools, some ropes here. There is a second sail, the petrol fuel, the engine, the table. And yeah, this rope is pulling the mainsail, this rope is pulling the Genoa, and that's it. The boat is really dirty out there, you can see. For me it's, it's, it's a big struggle to, to live on the boat, but it's kind of falling apart and the ocean want to destroy it all the time because you, you, you force the, the, the nature of, of the elements. Yeah guys, it's a new day and guess what? We are sailing! Leaving the island Coralejo and heading to south to find a dinghy. Dinghy is my mission since two weeks such a nice speed, seven knots, brilliant. Wow, today is the meal. It looks beautiful. Some tomato, couscous, veggies, rice. Boom! So, Look where I am now. I am in Grand Tarajal, south of Fuerteventura, and I have this mission to find a dinghy. So I am on anchor now, as you see, and there is a port just nearby, but they didn't answer to my message. My plan is that I will swim to the land and uploading the videos to you guys, and in next episode, I hope I will fix this dinghy issue. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you like it. If you don't like it, put the thumbs down. But if you like, put a thumbs up and follow my journey. Bye guys.